Okay, hello and welcome back to another video. We have an exclusive clip right now from the Power Rangers on Twitter and they've actually shared a thing, which I get what they're doing. They're, they're building hype right now. We're pretty much, as the time of this recording, we're about nine days away from once and always, but I think I wouldn't have included this clip. I think I would have probably have done something different um, or released a slightly edited trailer because now we know how the power coins are done. Everyone has been wondering, how do they get the power coins? I generally thought morphing masters because that's a way forward. But no, I was completely wrong and I will take that back. Dear God, I was wrong. So we're gonna watch the clip and then we're going to basically talk about it. So let's jump into it. If not, I'll cut this because, you know, copyright and all, but let's jump in. Alpha and I've been experimenting with the secondary connections of the grid. Now, I will stop this halfway through. Secondary clips to the morphing grid. Interesting. That is very, very interesting. We made these proxy power coins as a contingency. Now all of you can use dino powers. Whoa. Zordon was very clear. Duplicating active powers is very dangerous. You don't care how dangerous too much pink energy is. Once a ranger? Always a ranger. You can definitely count us in. All right, first up, there's been injuries reported already in Angel Grove. We cannot let the putties run rampant any longer. If that's the case, it's morphin' time! Now, this clip even though it's around about four, 35 seconds. Um, I don't think there's, yeah, it's, it's like 35 seconds. Shows us quite a lot. We have the proxy power coins. Now, now I kind of, as soon as they started talking about, about proxy, I generally kind of thought about magic cards. And uh, basically a proxy card is used during competition to represent an otherwise legal magic card or checklist card that can no longer be included in a deck without the, the deck being marked. So when they were talking about the, how do I say, like when they were talking about having proxies to the, the grid and stuff, I generally thought, okay, so it's a stand-in power. So now it just means that they have, uh, every single Mighty Morphin uh, Ranger can be whichever one that they want, effectively. They've got the coins. You know, if, say, for example, Zack wanted to give it to Adam, they could make another coin. But I think there's quite a bit when they start talking about the very beginning, which we're going to play again. Alpha and I have been experimenting with the secondary connections of the grid. So it's the secondary connections to the grid, and that's something that has has piqued my interest. I'm hoping they do explain it a little bit more a, a bit more differently because now it means that you can have other things connecting to the grid. So I'm very kind of like, hmm. We made these proxy power coins as a contingency. I generally don't know why. Well, no, no, I, I kind of get it now. Like, If you kind of put it like this. So obviously, so that they can continue being Power Rangers, you have the, uh, so basically Jason has been turned into a figure. He's still morphed. So that energy is still around, even though it's been shrunk. So this means that they can now connect multiple powers. I do like the fact that Zordon, the, uh, Zach mentioned Zordon said like, you know, this, this shouldn't be allowed or whatever. And I feel like that's kind of cool, but I like the fact now that Catherine represent, like, or she says like, you know, too much pink energy is dangerous. Now all of you can use dino powers. Well, Zordon was very clear. Duplicating active powers is very dangerous. You don't care how dangerous too much pink energy is. So I really like the fact they've just duplicated the powers, a very easy way of getting out. But duplicating this could mean, in, like, could be a very big thing. You could possibly do it for other seasons now, and that brings in so much that we can talk about in other videos. But just seeing this right now, I'm really, really excited about it. I like the fact that they can duplicate powers. The fact is that they're all running and I've got a feeling that there won't be much of a problem. I feel like the powers will be like, do you know what, that's okay. Or maybe they'll fail because as soon as I like, say Tommy and, oh sorry, Jason and Kimberly uh, return back to normal size, maybe the power just kind of like depowers or now effectively you could have two mighty morphing pink rangers, you could have two red mighty morphing powers. And it also means that Rocky can keep his power as well. 
That is very interesting. That is a very good way of saying, hey, you know, Rocky, you're going to come back for multiple seasons or you can come back at any time. We don't have to give an explanation, even though that you've had the power. Now, this is something that is kind of weird because I want to know what happened to Rocky's powers when he was in, say, Ninja Steel. What happens to them? It's very interesting. This I'm hoping they do kind of address that because that's a really big problem because you know, does the coin get transferred back to Jason, who calls it? I think that would have been a kind of a cool thing. Once a ranger? Always a ranger. You definitely count us in. All right, first up, there's been injuries reported already. In I like the fact that, so this is, I don't know if this is kind of going back in time or if this is going to be kind of a standard thing like you know it's like they go fight the putties they go do this they go do that and then they go back in time i feel like that's going to be a big thing but again it's like all the putties are running rampant i don't know i just i generally this small clip of like 35 seconds has opened up multiple things to kind of talk about and i'm very curious to know how the powers are gonna go anyway i'm gonna leave it there what are your thoughts on this clip are you excited what do you think about this do you think that the explanation of the powers are fine? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, why not become a channel member? And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. I wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters and I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat. Your help does go a long way to support the channel. And if you want to consider helping the channel, then links to my Patreon as well as the channel members are listed below. Ara ara. チャンネル